here in the aisle. Totally naked, oh, huh? Like, I mean, <clears throat> Grateful Dead show. Yeah. Final tour. Welcome back to another episode of Cactus Quest. I am your host, Hunter, and in today's episode, I'm reunited with reunited. my compadre, Reun my brother of the Yes, this Kevin. is where it all started back and in we're the gonna, day. He got a greenhouse. Oh. He went from being the patio daddy to the greenhouse guy. So we're gonna go take a look. You got a nice, it's a wooden greenhouse, right? It's a beautiful greenhouse. Yeah, NW cool. Green Panel. Shout out to my guys already. All right. yeah. Shout out. I, maybe I need to get one it's pretty beautiful. soon here. Yeah. Let's go take a look. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right. All right. All right. So you went to the Grateful Dead recently? I did. Yeah. Did you do um, any dead stuff? Like, did you do nitrous oxide? No, but there was the. Oh God. <laughs> All right, let's rock and roll. Let's come on, do this. Come on back. Beware of dog. We, right. One, two. We got an ankle biter and a pit bull. All right. Now I believe it or not, I actually haven't seen. I haven't seen your greenhouse. I saw it once. You haven't seen the finished product. I haven't seen it yeah. finished. And it, the crazy thing is it's uh, it's pretty full. There's a, there's a little bit of room, but... Uh... Wow, dude. Hey, why don't you stand over there real quick for some perspective? That thing is... That's big. So what's the, what's the full... What are the full dimensions on it? It is 8 by 20. 8 by 20. Yeah. And then what? How tall? Uh, I think it is also 8. Uh, NW Green Panels does it in 4-foot sections. So you can get whatever you want, 4 wide, 4 deep, in, in any length or width. Nice. And then you've got... So the panels themselves have some UV protection? They do, yes. Yeah. And then you have some shade cloth on top. Some really nice shade cloth on the inside. This this uh, side here gets some pretty gnarly uh, afternoon sun. Okay. And then I have shade cloth on the roof that I'm probably going to relocate inside to make it look a little cleaner, but I was in a little bit of a rush and just wanted to get it on top. Nice. But this uh, pad here, was this kind of an existing pad that we just extended so that we could kind of get this thing up off the ground. But let's get a shot of this real quick. Yeah, dude, Shakedown Street. Shakedown Street. <laughs> I love it. You got the little gargoyle up top little there? gargoyle. That was a gift from uh, Jen's uncle. Let's do it. Beautiful, man. Come on inside. Wow, dude. Oh. So you got the fans blowing. And as, as you guys may or may not know, Kevin is... Uh, hugely into euphorbia so he has got one of the coolest euphorbia collections of anybody i know and oddly enough if you'd like to follow kevin on instagram you'd follow him at crazy four cactus the number four yeah. but when you look around his greenhouse you start to get the feeling that he's actually really crazy for euphorbia crazy for euphorbia we got at least 50 percent of the greenhouse is euphorbia this entire Shelf. I don't think there's a single cactus on this entire side here. And so you're you're another one of the collectors that I know that is um, you got a beautiful greenhouse. But aside from that, you also have probably what 90% of your collection is staged in pots. Yeah, I I started out doing plastic pots, and I kind of was like, well, I'm not going to get into the ceramic pots because they're too expensive. And um, you know what it really came down to was. Uh, they just they look, look much better. Okay. You know, they, they really do. So I'll stage a six dollar plant, you know? So you got that one right there you just looked at was from Mr. Tony Croc. This that, one here? That, that, is, that is an OG euphorbia, one of my very first euphorbias. So this is how this is what one of your gateway euphorbias? That's what, that is absolutely <laughs> one of the gateways. And then this one here is from Denise Fry, the big giant cluster. Nice. Put my hand in there for, for look at this thing. Huge. Big boy. And then you got, what is this guy here? That is a Decepta. I believe that came from Mr. Greg Starr when we were out there. Nice. Yeah. You got a nice Abdul Curry back there. Hey, wait a minute. Is that a Cactus Quest pot? It is a Cactus Quest pot. Oh, nice. This is also a... a Cactus Quest pot here for one of my favorite plants. That's what a, is this plant? That's a Euphorbia virosa. Dude, let's get a close up here on me. Vicious looking. And then my all-time favorite plant is the one sitting next to it. Uh, favorite plant in the collection is the Don Hunt Hybrid Euphorbia. I believe it's a white ball project from Miles Anderson in an awesome Don Hunt pot with uh, pretty sweet tortoise feet legs. Yeah. You can kind of get down in there. It's, uh, it's grown quite a bit. And Don Hunt was a, was a pretty well-known potter here yeah. in the uh, Southern California area who 
sadly passed away in the last couple of years. So, yeah. um, here's another one of those, a loss to the community. Another one of the white ball projects. So tell tell the people who may not know about the white ball project. There's a, a grower out in Arizona yeah, who's so working on this. Basically, what he wanted to do was come up with a, a stark white, solid white obesa. So he was, uh, you know, putting uh, some together that had those traits and, you know, getting pretty darn close to, to epicness. Nice. Good lord, dude. Speaking of epicness, that is insane. That's an oldie. Euphorbia obesa. Yeah. It's got the good wood. It is. <laughs> Shout out to Tomb Lapoon there. We were uh, battling it out on a on a uh, on a, on a uh, back and forth bidding on that sucker. Yeah, I wasn't gonna let him win. So, <laughs> <laughs> dude. The Suppressa collection. Hey, wait a minute. There's another little cactus, a cactus bus spot. spot. And you got lights in here as well. I do. Yeah. Yeah. Some LEDs. It's really nice for doing some night uh, as uh, Mike Hackett nightly observation. Yeah, to man. Come in here and check out my stuff. But it looks really, really good in here. Yeah. You know you what's interesting? I, was, I, I did a post the other day around uh, a lot of these things, minimal growth and, and very little flowering. Yeah. Until I put them in here and I mean like everything is just multiple times flowering. It is just amazing. How long has all this stuff been in here? Probably a good three, four months. I would and, say. And before that, you basically had it on the uh, yeah. If you, if you on twist the it out to the, to the pool there, it, it right was there. It was out there on the pool. Gotcha. You still have some plants over there. Yeah, there's some Dudley over there. We'll check those out in a minute. Nice man. Yeah. And then this is the uh, the cactus side. So for you for you uh, folks out there that are doubting my my uh, love of cacti. Your cacti insanity. I got some pretty. All right, we'll prove it here. So let's take a look. Let's see what he's got. So. We've got some, some beautiful little Turbini Carpus. He's got some Astrophytum. Okay, look at this. Very first Cactus Quest pot I picked up. Nice. OG pot right yeah, there. Yeah, that is, dude. I made that one on my kitchen counter. You did. <laughs> That's awesome. Spinosissima Un Pico. Un Pico. That is epic. That was a Home Depot find, surprisingly. That is surprising. Yep. My Crantha Sirius Estevezia. I think it's now I think they moved it. It's, it's something else, but still, you, you can look it up and that'll that'll work. And then you got a little flowering Turbini Carpus Alonzo eye. Look at this pair right here. Oh, I'm all fat boys. Have they flowered yet for you? I uh, think, yeah, they continue to flower. Yeah. Yeah. And then here's one of my new faves. You got the babies. Oh, wow. Yeah. It's a, a Mammillaria Perez de la Rosa variety. Anderso Is it Anderson I or Andersoniana? Andersoniana, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that would well, basically, this differs from the normal Mammillaria Perez de la Rosa because it has no hooked spines. And I believe that is uh, eight years from seed is what I was told. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, they're a slow grower, sadly, which is, I guess, this is cool. This one, we're, it's starting to reflower, but uh, Mammillaria dewy eye. Nice. Beautiful. It gets covered in these awesome yellow flowers. I got the graft section in the back here. That's nice too. That's an Aerocarpus cachibianus graft. There's about 7,684 heads on it. One of the best flowers in Mammillaria right there. Picked that up the other day from our buddy Victor over at Oasis. Yeah, if you haven't, go check that video out. Nice little aloe crapoliana as well, one of my favorites. You know who I got that from? Who? I think I got that from Selegna Soul. Oh, oh, really? David, where are you, buddy? We David were, Valera, yeah, what happened to you, you, dude? Where are you, man? I see him I see him liking photos and stuff, so yeah. he's around. He's around. So this corner here, uh, Mike Hackett, I got these on loan from Mr. Insane Succulents. So I'm nice. hang, hanging on to these guys. They all just came back into leaf here. The beautiful Pulsoni eyes. Nice. What's this beast? It is a Euphorbia didariotes cylindrofolia. Wow, yeah. interesting. I got picked that up a while ago. That's cool. And it looks like it's starting to do some leaves. Super cool, man. More Euphorbia. What is this thing? Holy moly, that's wild looking. That, I forget the name, but I picked that up at uh, Botanic Wonders. A uh, Kalisana, I think. Euphorbia Kalisana. Looks a little thirsty. It does, but it's that those colors are really cool. Yeah, it's beautiful. I don't know if you guys can tell, but that is like that green is really outstanding. Beautiful Kalisana. Do you want to see a one-off creation? Yeah, let's Look see. Look at it. this right here. Euphorbia nuthii in a one-off Cactus Quest pot. 
Oh yeah, dude. Have you ever seen another pot like that? Very rare that do I glaze. It, that's it right there. Interesting when, shape. When I saw that, that is cool, man. When I saw that pot, I knew that that plant had to go in there. We need to make more of those. This thing is, what in the world? That's also, I think, a Decepta. But it's, I don't know if the Maristem got damaged or whatever, but it's almost, it, it might even be Suppressa. I don't that know. That is wild looking, man. Super cool. And this is a really neat monodinium. Super pretty there. Look at that thing. So have you noticed that you've had to do anything differently in terms of caring for the plants since you've put it in here? No. Have there been any challenges? There have not. It's, it's honestly been all upside. I've noticed a significant amount more flowers and the plants are starting to grow sooner. Uh, the only thing I'm just really trying to keep on top of is the watering and just making sure I'm, you know, but the temperature, I've got some, shout out to Sensor Push. Yeah. Sensor Push, got, got my uh, tags underneath here, um, you know, keeping an eye on the temperature. So right now I'm, I'm still watering about once a week, you know, pretty good soak. Nice. Dude, it's looking really good in here, man. Yeah. Thank you very much for uh, tuning in. Make sure that you guys go follow Kevin at Crazy for, Cactus. Crazy for Cactus. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and if you can, become a Patreon supporter because it helps me continue to build and grow the channel. See you next time. Peace.